Matt, would you shuffle those cards while I tell you some nonsense? <laughs> sure. Give them a shuffle, I'll tell you some absolute drivel about this little bag here. Did you know, Matt, <laughs> that King Charles, his very own selfness, has a secret magic club? He's a member of the Magic Circle, but he doesn't really have time for all the Monday night bickering at the, at the club these days. He's a little bit busy pretending to be busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he has his own very super secret club called the Noble 52. And if you are a member, you get a nice little black pouch. I'm not saying I'm a member, but you get a nice little black pouch with the logo. And you get his big, shiny, impressive coin. Take a look. Cool, isn't it? Is that true? No, but it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> well, he's fooled me once. <laughs> look at that. It's like a proper... It, it's weighted as well. It's like really heavy. That's not true. No, that's a bit sad to say, no. Um, <laughs> It is said, Mark, 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 Mark. Mark? Mark. <laughs> Who's Mark? Yeah. I just watch your... your I've only known you for years. I watch the match of on two speed. I can't really hear the words. Um, <laughs> it is said, mostly by me, that this, car, co this, <laughs> this round object, this coin here, is utterly incapable of failing to find a selected card. Right. So let's have you select a card and put it to the test. We'll put that over there for now. Say stop for me. Stop. I take your card, memorise it, which is like remembering. Memorise it. Yep. Can I show them? Go for it. Got it? Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously going to show them again myself. I'm a professional, but you can show them if you if you must. <laughs> I'll place the card back in the deck <laughs> and give it all a shuffle. Um, a shuffle. A shuffle. You're just making up words today, then. Yep. Deal with it. <laughs> all right. I will. I'm going to spread this deck out like Sonus. <laughs> I'm going to get you to take this coin by the edges, run it along the deck like so, and when you feel the urge, the impulse, the uncontrollable need, you're going to drop the coin onto a section of the car. That's it. Okay. Go for it. Oh, I'm excited. Attention's killing me. There. There. Are you sure there? Happy there? Yeah. Do you not need me to drop no. it at the top? No, no. Anywhere you like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would think you have a suspicion of the card. <laughs> but you can't know for sure. The coin can. The coin cannot fail. Take the coin one last time over here, and when you feel the uncontrollable pulsing of necessity, <laughs> just drop it on the card. Really? Yes, yeah, go for it. You're sure? No, are you? I'm, I'm fairly sure. I'm uh, good 95%. I'll be honest, the last eight didn't go so well, but I'm 95 there. <laughs> that okay. was your card. That's not your card, right? No. Or this one, or this one, or this one. No. It's a good start. It's a good start. Matt, would you believe me? This coin is incapable of not finding your card. Your card will be under this coin. Do you believe me? I don't think I do, Nim. Matt, I'll show you. And Mike, you want to get in close for this? You might. This is your card. Let me, let me see if I can find out what it was first. Was it the, it's a red card. It was a heart. We're talking about the five of hearts, aren't we? And like I said, your card, right there, under the coin, Matt. Thank you very much. <coughs> <laughs> Look at that. I genuinely didn't know where that was going. Of course, it'd be rubbish if it was just that, so I might as well put the five of hearts there as well. <laughs>